If you had to torture someone in the most harmless way imaginable, how would you do it? There's an oven near them that is always baking hot fresh garlic bread, or brownies. And while they can smell the amazing aroma, they can never have any. This is getting less harmless the more I think about it. But maybe that's just because the thought of garlic bread and brownies is making me hungry right now. Try living next to a bakery. It's hell. I lived next to a cinnamon. Every morning was hell. My friend leased an apartment above a donut shop for a year. Had to move out a few months early. Even though his landlord was amazing. Because he'd gained 60 pounds in those 10 months. Make them watch a 3 year old zip their own coat before leaving the house to the event you are late for. Ha ha step it up and make it so that it's not their own 3 year old. And that you have to let the child zip up or else the door doesn't open lol. I'll zip the coat. Pull up the hood. Cover their face. Then throw them through the goddamn window to make a path. Make sure their most frequently used doorknob always has enough static electricity to shock them but not hurt them. You all suck at being harmless. Honestly. This would just make me feel like Raiden and I'd just hang out by the doorknob in the dark to flex my incredible power. Slow. Ass. Internet. All the time. On every device. No matter what. Literally worse than death. Bro. You've described the 90s. Bunch of us lived that shit. Please don't trigger anyone else's PTSD. God forbid I pick up the phone when my mom was online. My mom screams and me knowing I just ducked up. Don't get online. I'm expecting a fax. Duck you. Dad. I feel like it's one thing when that's all we knew was slow internet. But then take us from now having lightning fast internet back to slow as hell and I think it would be proper torture. Raise his mattress cover so it would pop off during the night. That's just cruel. And your foot catches it. Toenails scraping all night. I like how you very clearly have someone in mind. No my mattress cover was popped off while seeing the post. Set up a device to lightly scratch the inside of the wall directly beside their desk and have it turn on and off on alternating intervals. They will always turn off their music YouTube wondering if they're just going insane or not. I did this prank on a co-worker. I bought this tiny little speaker that made a variety of sounds at random time intervals. The two best in my opinion were a little girl laughing. Or a man whispering hey. Can you hear me? I hid the speaker in a ceiling vent above her computer and left it there for a week. It drove her insane. You are the worst person ever. And where can I buy one of those? Put their favorite song on loop. But every third note is either sharp or flat. Phil Collins. In the air tonight. On repeat. But every time the big drum part is about to begin. The music mutes and a navigator voice blares turn left in 50 meters. Cutting out the big drum part. Backbook scratching against each other. Just reading this comment was enough to torture me. Sorry about the spelling lol. I actually just meant the comment reminded me of the sound. Didn't even notice any typos. Always have one pebble in their shoe. And it's gotta be one of them small pebbles to where you won't feel it for a while and think it feel out and then you take a step and unexpectedly it comes back. There was a lady at a nursing home with a prolapsed bladder and dementia. Kept asking the attendants to move her constantly because every chair or couch she sat in was mysteriously lumpy. They told her the lump was her. But she'd forget within minutes and ask to be moved again. I wonder if a donut cushion would have helped her? Puppeted shower. Why would you make me picture that? This was supposed to be hypothetical torture but you may have just ruined my evening. Dark brown shag carpet. So you can't even really tell how gross it is. One that was in a smoking apartment from the 70s. I am vomiting. Tickle them. As someone super ticklish with a high pain tolerance. I could probably handle a beating better than tickle torture. The tickling will continue until morale improves. As someone who abhors human contact. A beating and a tickle are the same thing. This is level 100 torture. All their spatulas, ladles, slotted spoons, 
and potato mashers turned upright in their drawer so every time they open a drawer, it gets stuck. Somehow each time they manage to fix it. Everything goes back to being upright once they shut the drawer. If they leave the drawer open, they bang their hip on it when they walk. That's my life. You're describing my goddamn life. Get a steel utensil can. Time for a prayer to the goddess Anoya. Which means it is also time to say. New Terry Pratchett. Force them to watch all their favorite movies and TV shows. With two seconds of delay between the sound and picture. I feel like nobody realizes how frustrating this is and it makes me mad. Have everyone speak very quietly to them until they start questioning their ability to hear properly and they have to ask over and over what everyone is saying. That's a great idea. What? But like a... Our prices have never been lower. That is totally inappropriate. Put them in a dark. Quiet room. Add one mosquito. If they somehow kill that mosquito. Add another. There is a machine you can buy as a kit for electronics learning. It has a light detector and a speaker. It makes an intermittent mosquito noise. If you turn the light on. It turns off. Once the lights go off it waits a few minutes before going again. That's just cruel. Better yet. Add two. And if he she kills them. Three. How about just add a steady flow of them. I think there is an old torture method where they drop a bit of water on someone's head at random times driving them insane waiting for the next drop. Chinese water torture, as terrible as the idea you mentioned is. The real one was bad in a different way. The drops were consistent, administered through a contraption. But after days of it there would actually be damage to the skin and after a long enough exposure and the skin's drying cycle causing cracking. It could get as deep as bone and still be causing damage. Highly unusual and intermittently used though. Edit. Spelling. Didn't Mythbusters do an episode on this? They put the lady Mythbuster, Kari, in the water torture contraption and within a very short amount of time she was having a massive anxiety attack because of it. In conclusion they found that it was the restraints that were causing the psychological duress. Not the water. The same test with a non-restrained individual had negligible effects. But the drops mean you can't escape within your mind or go to sleep or even think about anything else like an insatiable itch. So it's both I think. Somehow make sure all the socks they own are always wet. Trench foot is no joke. Oof I forgot about that actually lol but to make it harmless maybe all the socks are just slightly noticeably damp. Just up around the ankles. Trench ankle. Make them have a piece of long hair in their mouth 24 stroke 7. Never let them use a q-tip again. Make their cell phones unable to save contacts or recent calls. So they have to dial the number every time. I just went and used a q-tip to prove I could. Make them have a piece of long hair in their mouth 24 stroke 7. Live with long haired woman. This is my life. They get everywhere. Make them feel like they're always on the verge of a sneeze without actually sneezing. Edging. But for your nasal mucous membrane. If they're a gamer force them to watch someone play their favorite game who has never played a game at all. As someone who sits at a desk for 75% of my waking hours. This is me watching someone clueless with excel. I pulled someone in an office chair away from the computer when they typed google.com into google. Yes. All caps. Yes. They spelled out dot. I believe my exact words were holoduck damn it. Move. I can literally imagine it. Get out of the duck ing way. Your teammate is gonna get killed. You know. After coming up with all these situations in the game I really like to play. I don't think this is really that harmless. I saw the video where a game reviewer, I think was having their so who never played video games try to figure them out with no input. I almost died when they went through an entire level of Super Mario 3 walking. They never found the run button, the horror. Hide a smoke detector with a dying battery in their attic. I lived in a duplex with a neighbor who frequently traveled out of state. Old house. Thin walls. Dude smoke detector battery chirped for a month. 
I'm pretty sure my dog went partially insane. I once went to visit my parents for a long weekend. And when I came back my smoke detector was going off, full on alarm. I have no idea if it had started minutes or days before I got home. No one ever said anything to me so I hope to god it was only minutes. But it had been mildly malfunctioning for weeks so I am not sure, it would go off for no reason and then stop. My neighbors went away last winter. Something was beeping inside their house. Either smoke detector or carbon monoxide detector. My other neighbors and I got freaked out that maybe the whole family was dead inside from carbon monoxide so we called for a wellness check. The cops said everything seemed okay. We just had to wait. They were gone for over a week. Everything was okay and we were kind of embarrassed for calling the cops. You know those stories of people who died in their homes and weren't found for several years? Yeah. Better that that didn't happen. You lot are good neighbors for checking. Best comment of the day. For 3 years I would drive past this guy walking home from middle school. I would do the Nelson laugh haha -ha at him. Every day. 5 times a week. One day near the end of that last school year I drove past him and did not laugh at him. He turned slowly watching me with this dumbfounded look on his face. I slammed on the brakes turned around drove past him. Turned around again, drove past him and went. Haha. -ha. He started laughing. I wonder what happened to him. That was like 20 years ago. I hope he had a good life and did not take it personally. I was just being weird and I think he figured out that last time.